Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I've got uh, two products in today and uh, both of them are actually the basically the same thing. And uh, they're both by Epauto. And uh, as you can see right here, here's the cases. Uh, now, I did actually have to use these uh, when I first got them in, so I apologize for not having all of the wrapping on them. They do have like a little sleeve and some plastic and stuff. Uh, basically just, you know, the standard wrapping that comes with things like this. Obviously, I'm sure you already know what these are because of the title, but uh, both of these are actually torque wrenches. And, uh, as you can see here, I do have two different sizes. I have the standard half inch size and then I have the much smaller quarter inch size. And uh, the reason being for that uh, and that the fact that I didn't, I don't have three sizes is because these two actually cover everything that I need to do. Uh, now both of them of course uh, are uh, equipped with having uh, extensions. You've got the half inch extension, the quarter inch extension, and then they both have an adapter. Both of these adapters uh, go to actually the same size, which is that standard 3 8 inch. So uh, if you guys do want to get the 3 8 that is available, I wasn't worried about it because I can do it with two tools and uh, cover all three of them with those two. Uh, the quarter inch of course adapts up and the half inch of course then adapts down. Uh, now the one main difference besides of course the size of these is that they are geared in a slightly different way. Uh, these do have uh, the twist handles here and uh, when they're in the resting position you do want to unscrew these all the way out to zero and then you have the little locking nut on the back end. Uh, that of course then keeps it in place so that uh, you you don't lose uh, your torque position like if you have it set up to whatever it is uh, now on the longer one here on the half inch drive it is set to foot pounds as well it does have newton meters on the other side depending on if you're using standard or metric uh, and of course you know that's perfect for when i'm tightening lug nuts down or any larger bolts but if i'm tightening down some smaller stuff uh, then you want to switch over to the smaller one and this one is set to inch pounds. Now of course all the difference is is uh, multiplying by 12. So however many uh, foot pounds there are in something, if it's say for example 10, uh, it's going to be 120 inch pounds because of course 10 times 12. So uh, fairly simple and then it does have again Newton meters on the other side. Uh, they don't of course change that but uh, they work very well I use them for a few different applications one of those being uh, I needed to put some new spark plugs in my car so I used of course the smaller one and I got in there and got them torqued down to I believe it was uh, I think it was set for 11 foot pounds as what or yeah I think it was 11 foot pounds is what it was set to so of course I switched that 11 foot pounds down to inch pounds and uh, torqued it down just right so that they were all in there uh, in the way that they should be. As well, I had uh, done some bigger stuff, I think some stuff that had to do with the wheels, and so I was able to use the half inch drive to go ahead and torque them down at a higher setting. All right, so, and now of course, uh, along with these, it does come with uh, a simple little paper here, and uh, it has a little bit of the information on the one side, and then on the back side, it actually does have a uh, torque conversion table and it goes between foot pounds, uh, meter kilograms, and then newton meters. Uh, it does also have the conversion formulas if you want to do the math behind that. And then on the inside here it tells you the basic operation. Which what it is is that uh, with the inline style or the screw style ones where you uh, adjust it going up you have all the little markings on the side. And then here, as you can see, you can see all the little lines and then the lines on the handle itself. And they go from zero up through. On this one, it goes to 10 and then it goes kind of five more. And that's just because this is the inch pound one. And so it's a little bit different. Where on the larger one here, 
it goes by, well it counts off by twos, but it goes from zero and then basically it goes to ten. And uh, what you do is just twist it up so that you match the number on the side here. And if you needed like, for example, um, 50 foot pounds, you would screw it up so that the zero was in line with the vertical line and then the horizontal line that goes to the 50 mark is in line with the end of the, uh, the tube there basically. If you needed it at 55, you would take it to that point and then twist it so that the little notch that represents the five lines up with the vertical line uh, and that then gives you your 55 foot-pounds uh, or of course inch pounds if you're going to be using the smaller one now of course when when you do have it set to what you want it uh, what you want it to do or what what weight you need it at uh, for example when I was doing the uh, when I was doing the spark plugs this was set like I said roughly I believe it was set to 11 foot-pounds uh, what happens is you sit there and of course you take it up and it ratchets like normal and then when it gets to that point where it hits the 11 foot pound mark you'll hear it it'll go through and instead of the simple ratcheting click like this you'll hear more of a solid click and that'll be when you're actually tightening it uh, and so you'll hear that click as you're going to tighten it and that's when you want to release and go ahead and take it off because you've hit your mark and it does the exact same thing on both of them for anybody that hasn't used one of these style before if you guys want to check these out you can go down there in the description below i'll leave a link to both of them down there to the amazon site and their page individually also on your way down don't forget to uh, check out we've got the social media down there as well as that paypal link which of course takes place of patreon and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button and uh, that little bell icon so you know when we got new videos here on world of me all right everybody well my name's cougar this is the world of me another episode from the amazon review series i'd like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye